Hello everyone, uh, welcome back again. So now we'd like to discuss about AI primitives within an, within an agent, okay? You can see here, there are mainly three paradigms, okay? three primitives, sorry. One is sense, one is plan, and then act, okay? And for AI, uh, uh, without having any learning, we cannot call that system as AI, okay? If we ask you, or if I ask you, what is the difference between rule-based system and the AI, AI based system. Okay, what is the difference between us and some other animal? The only thing, only difference is learning. We people, we learn from everything. Okay, we learn our language, we learn how to walk, <coughs> we learn how to talk, okay, we learn how to communicate, we learn everything from the world. But other animal, other species, they don't learn. That is the main difference. So if our system, our digital system or robot don't have any learning-based system or learning, then we cannot call it as a uh, AI-based system, okay? So learning is one of the most important thing in AI. So again, these are the three main primitives of AI, sense, plan, act. Then these are main three paradigm of AI robotics, okay? One is a hierarchical paradigm where it based on sense, then plan, then act. Then another one is reactive paradigm. You can understand by the word reactive, sense and act. And then the other one is hybrid. It's a combination of both deliberative and the reactive one. Okay, so hybrid, deliberative or reactive paradigm. Okay, there is another paradigm which is called behavioral based control. Some professor or some books refers to this uh, behavioral based control as separate one. And some others call it as uh, treat is at, uh, treat is at hybrid system. Okay, so we will discuss mainly three the three paradigms. One is hierarchical, reactive, and hybrid one. So here is the hierarchical one. In hierarchical one, what we have seen, what we can we, we we see here, one is sense, as you can see on the right side picture, we can see by the uh, eyes. Then we plan by our brain, and then we act. This is not a closed loop system. When I can see something, then I plan, then I act. Okay, that is the main concept of hierarchical or deliberative system. Okay, so control people don't like it because there is no loop here. AI people hate it because this is monolithic. Okay, again and again the same thing, same algorithm. No learning, no new uh, features. Okay, this is monolithic. And user don't like it because this is slow, very slow. Because whenever it will take any move, it have to plan, okay? It have to process that data, okay? So here is the, uh, uh, I think, uh, description of the paradigm, okay? The robot operates in top-down fission, heavy on planning. You can understand it. Top-down means sense, plan, act. And there is heavy, heavy planning, that means the algorithm, the planning algorithm is very critical. Second thing is the robot sends the world, plan the next action and then act. At each step, the robot explicitly plan the next move. So as I told you, whenever it will plan any move, it need to plan, okay? It need huge processing. So that's why it requires time, it becomes slow. So all the sensing data trained to be gathered into one global world model. Okay, that means whenever, whatever it is sensing, the sensing the environment or the information of the sensor, it's gathering in the global system. So it have to process in huge amount of data. Okay, that's why it become too slow. Okay, so that is the concept of hier uh, hierarchical one. And this one is very simple, sense act. We can have a number of systems, different systems. Every system is sensing, and acting, there is no planning, okay? So, we can say here, sense type, sense act type organization, like sensing and acting, then the robot has many, multiple instances of sense act coupling. You can see here, you have three instances here, okay? Then robot takes the local sensing data and compute the best action to take independently of what the other processes, uh, independent of what the other processes, processes are doing. That means each system is, is totally, uh, how to say, independent than the other one, okay? The first one is not taking care of the second one. 
second one is not taking care of the first one or third one okay they are independent from each other okay if by some action second one is affect that is not matter for the first one okay so that's why there is no global planning okay it has it, it's very reactive it works very nice but there is no planning it have its local planning like just sense and then there is a rule based algorithm what to take the action or what what kind of action we should take so it's doing the doing the thing okay so this is not a planning okay so uh, that's why okay it need a plan okay it's required to have a plan so users love it because it worked okay sense act it's finding something it's taking the decision it's going out from the black line then coming back to the black line again okay so it's working ai people love it but want to put plan back it okay they love it because they can understand it's working but they really want to put some ai like we are also talking like that control people hate because could not rigorously prove it works because since there is no plan they don't like it okay so without having a plan a system cannot work properly that is their concern control people's concern but in hybrid system or hybrid deliberative reactive paradigm this problem solved okay the robot first plan how the best decompose a task into subtasks and then what are the suitable behaviors to accomplish each subtasks okay if we mention here so at the beginning at the beginning there is a plan subsection okay so what it's doing at the beginning we are we have given some algorithm like what to do okay so it gives the information to all the subsystems like here is sense act sense act sense act this subsystem or we can say yeah this subsystem this subsystem and also give this these subsystems okay so they're independent independent from each other but they have a global planning okay that is the main issue then the behavior is start executing as part the reactive paradigm okay so when it has given them the plan then they are working as their own way like sense act paradigm okay sensing organization is also mixture of hierarchical and reactive style sensor data gets rotated to each behavior that need that sensor but it also available to the planner for construction of the task oriented global world model that means this is sense and act sense act sense act okay the advantage is it's sensing and acting immediately sensing and acting immediately sensing and acting immediately but this sensing part is also going back to the plan this sensing part is also going back to the plan this sensing part is also going back to the plan so these subsystems are working nicely like sense act uh, uh, paradigm but they have a planning whenever this plan subsystem find any uh, big change or whenever it, it 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 think we need to change something then it will again redirect to the other sub modules okay then they will recalculate or they will perform different algorithm okay they will run different algorithm okay so when they are acting at the same time at the same time planning is happening at the behind so there is no uh, waiting time there is no delay okay they are when there is any update it will come to them it will come to the subsystems but before getting that update it's performing its previous task or previous algorithm okay so there is no problem with it okay it's it it, it, no, it, 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 it doesn't become slow okay it all is fast like sense and act okay so 
this model, uh, this hybrid model solve all the problem, okay, all the objections. And what are the advantages? Asynchronous processing technique allows to function independently. That means they are functioning independently, okay. They are asynchronous, okay. They don't require to synchronize with the other one, okay. So, it functions nice. Second, planner can slowly compute next goal while robot can perform reactive task. When they are performing their task, the planner can plan the next move or next uh, action what to do or next updates. Okay. First, receive update then global planner for planning. Okay. That means first reactive updates then global planner for planning. That means when they are sensing something, it's acting immediately. Okay. So first it's acting and then it's sending the data or feedback to the planner. Okay good software modularity. So, if we implement this structure, we can build planner separately, we can build this subsystem separately, we can build this subsystem separately, we can build this subsystem separately, independently. Okay. So, it's become modular. Okay. There is no effect of this subsystem with this one. Okay. So, it is an excellent structure for our, it's, uh, it's an, how to say, uh, a very good paradigm for robotic activities, okay. So, sense, act and there will be a common planning, okay. So, control people hate it because AI but the, but are getting over it. Uh, yeah, control system hates everything, okay, because of AI, because some people, you know, they, they thought, they think AI is a black box, okay. They don't know how AI is work, how AI works. Okay, so if we use explainable AI, maybe the control people really started liking it. Okay, so uh, yeah, control system don't like it because of AI. They don't know how this algorithm works. AI people love it because they implemented AI and it's working. And user love it because it just like sense act uh, paradigm. Okay, so it it is it, it solved our problem. You can see here the bottom side here is sense act sense act, and at the top side it's the planning part. Okay. So, here is two new word, one is react, uh, one is local control, another one is global control, okay. So, reactive is especially for local control, like local control means uh, line falling robot or uh, you, you, can, you can say cockroach type robot, okay. So, these are reactive robot, okay. So, it has a just a local, uh, local flow chart or a small program, control program, which is just taking the decision, okay, very, very rule based decision. Okay, and deliberative is a global control. That means it will sense, plan, it has a global plan and it will act. So, what to mention is only local control or reactive is not good enough for robotics. In the same way, deliberative is also not good for a robot, okay. So, hybrid is the best one. We can, uh, we can read it here. Robot behavior management requires to know its current mission, state and environment which are local control. Beside path planning which is global control, map making, monitoring all these are global control things. Okay? So that means it's required to know where am I, where is my position what is the position of my arm, that is the local control issues. And then it need to plan where to reach uh, and what is my condition, uh, I have, uh, where am I, like position in the map, okay, or creating a map, like the way it's moving, it's sending the data and creating the map on behind. So, so both local and global model are required to be considered for a robot performance, okay. So, if we want good performance from a robot, we need both of these, okay, that means we need a, we need this uh, hybrid one. So, you can, you can see here the top one is deliberative, the middle one is the uh, interfacing between these two and the bottom one is reactive. So, you can, you, you can read in the reactive one, action is generated by sense or internal stimulus, no awareness or monitoring is required for uh, a reactive system and models and models are of the vehicle not the larger world, okay. So, it's for a small uh, environment, okay, not for the large system, okay, for the large environment, for the global world, okay. 
but the delivery one is for the global one where mission planning where uh, monitoring system okay world modeling these things are considered okay and the middle one is just making the interface between these two okay like when sense act these subsystems are getting some information it's going to convert this information to the uh, deliberative system and when deliberative system will generate a plan or new update it need to convey the update to the other sub module so the middle one is uh, making that things happen okay it's doing the interfacing one so that was the thing of three main paradigm okay uh, on next we are going to discuss about uh, the uh, details of the uh, details of the action subsystems like motor actuator this kind of things in the same way the sensor subsystems like what kind of sensor we can use there are uh, active sensors passive sensors so we're going to discuss about it and also the uh, processing subsystem that means planning subsystems what kind of algorithm we can use or what kind of processor we can use thank you very much for this time